Hey guys, welcome to the channel. We want to thank y'all in advance. And if you haven't already, hit the like button, subscribe, and the notification bell. And you'll get updated as the videos come. Uh, so today, I decided I wasn't going to go drive today or in the next this next week because this has to be done. Because we've got some stuff going on for changed me up um, this trailer was a gift to us and it had some exterior damage and to this wall here now I had to take the tin back clear back to this panel here I had to take this panel and this panel off to repair the floor and part of the the wall studs in here and to resurface the door these are all new studs, so don't think that because, because these, you are talking about what you had done so far. Okay, so where the tin is damaged on the roof up here, the limb came through the, through the wall here. It was said that this trailer is non-livable because it had a hole up here and it dislodged the wall from the, from the roof. When I looked at it, I told the guy, I says, it's fixable. It's still livable. That's an easy fix. So what we did is we took new 2 by we took the studs out, we put new 2 by 4s in, new 2 by 4 runner, and took the subfloor it was rotten here from water damage I took both the upper and the lower subfloor completely out we put new OSB board in here and I took a 5 8 piece of plywood and went over top of that to create the new floor it's got a little bit of a gap a little bit of lip not bad it's manageable uh, it's as close as it's gonna get get but for the most part my goal today was to Get the door put back in, getting it well shut. We have to use an old door that came off of here because the new door that we're going to put on here is actually too tall, and so it wouldn't have cleared the the opening here. But we fixed the wall here, put the side back on, so that way the weather will you know, keep the weather out as much as possible, so we're not having too much more damage. It's going to be a little stubborn, but it's okay. Got a little bit of a mess, but for the most part, we'll have the siding back on over here. Siding back on over here. We'll use parts off the trailer over there for the siding here to replace the siding that was damaged here. And then I'll have to figure out what we're going to do about the window. We're going to put an AC unit here. inside so we can show them what you're talking about. So in these, in these 70s trailers, it came with propane, gas, water heaters. 70s 
some electric. Some electric. But this one happens to be a gas uh, water meter. We have. We it's know back that up. one does work. So this will be. We'll have to wire this in. And fix the plumbing. So now we'll go over and we the will be fixing that bathroom window right this there. This is another. I think the one on the roof. The other trailer. Over there, the Two windows are good. We need to put a screen in that one. And then listen. It's the water hose. Oh. Thought it was a rattlesnake. So there is a piece under here on the the two by six that needs to be cut and spliced together for here and here to re rejoin the corner here and one up in the front over there. But that's something that's a minor fix. Um, you like our make makeshift deck, y'all? <laughs> we we had to figure something out in a hurry. So when the, the limb came down, it kind of offset the roof with where the peak comes down to the main roof itself. It offset it on both sides. It kind of has it's it's the effect of an accident. The the start of the accident causes the energy to move through the vehicle and causes the damage to go backwards so it's going to cause a ripple effect in order to fix that we'd have to strip it down and straighten it out which right now it's holding all we got to do is just reseal the roof but let's just show them what that effect did to the living room area so, whoa watch these <laughs> there's the steps are handmade they will have to get better done. so we're going to change this box out I'm gonna put our box in here. It's got more. It's got new updated breakers, and it's got a new updated main. So this will be changed out. Um, in here, we've got carpet to pull out of here. Some repair to the walls where the windows are at, and a toilet put in here, and then plumbing run from here back up that way to attach to this other bathroom. <laughs> How are you planning on fixing that wall over there with that handling rotted? And we're gonna sheetrock this in here. The whole room we're gonna sheetrock? No, just just the walls here and this corner. Well For see, now. because there's a hole in and, this wall right well, here. Wherever we need to fix it, that's what we're gonna do, is we're gonna fix it. But so far there's no indication of leaks back here. Um we bought some lights at a garage sale, so I'm gonna hook a light there. And one in there. And so maybe one like right here, right where this is at. Maybe put a light right there. Because it's really, it's really, really hard when you come walk into a room and you go to flip the light on and it's way across the the bedroom. And with the way we are, the bed will go, will go right there where those windows are at. So it'll be easier if we have a light right here in the entry part that way we can have lights with little um what do you call those little pull strings so like we can that. pull those if we want to go you know if we just need to turn the light off by the bed or on or whatever but that and then this is the bathroom right here i've been working on it we gotta patch the floor over here in the in the closet uh and seal that back up because we're going to keep critters from getting in and out. And like I, the one that's sitting in here right now. Where? Right there. Oh. And this floor, I think, I don't know if this floor is weak. We haven't really been in here to see about this floor. 
So I don't know if that was there as a support or if that floor is That's weak. That's the door for there. Right there. But do you want to lift that up and see if that floor is weak or if that was just sitting there? Yeah. It's weak. So we did get plenty of sheets of OSB board where we can go in here and replace whatever is weak. We're trying to replace everything we can now. That way we don't have to worry about it down the road. And it has his and her sinks in here. And he will have his own cabinet. I will have my own cabinet. These walls will get repainted because I don't like this splotchy pink color. It looks like the bathroom has a really horrible rash. And I cannot stand that. So that will be getting fixed. Mm -hmm. And these light fixtures will be getting replaced right here. All right, babe, let's go show them the office area. This is the office area. Um, we're already starting moving stuff in from the buildings and putting it in here. This window will have to be replaced. Um, we're probably going to put an air conditioning unit in there. I don't have nothing to hold that up, but... So we'll probably put an air conditioning unit in that window right there. So I can, when I'm in here working, I'm not like burning up so bad. And then this area is perfect for my computer. People left fabric in here, which I will wash that up and do something with. But I do not like this color on the walls. It's like a purplish color. I don't know. I just don't like it. Not for an office. But the ceiling looks good in here, except for that little bit of spot right there. And that's just to tack back up and get rid of the dirt daubers. Um, this right here will need to be fixed. You see where the trailer is coming away a little bit? That will have to be fixed. Yeah, I have to dress that. Um, I have to dress that. And then probably put sheetrock along this wall right here. Take care of this rutted part. And then we have this living room. This living room is a mess, y'all. The trailer came as a disaster. And we're trying to clean up the disaster. And as you can see, this is the inside of the trailer and the wall that he's been working on. So this gives you kind of an idea of how bad things were. Uh, wood was really bad rotted. And we've had to replace some studs. So back to what I was saying about where the tree came through. From here to here is where it ripped the tin loose and pulled the wall back this way. I was able to push the wall back up and get it somewhat level and straight. And we'll put new braces in. And then we'll run tin back on the outside and then run that insulation inside here to reinsulate this wall. And put sheetrock on the bottom. Here. And then I gotta tackle this over here. But yeah. For the most part, this is now 100% sturdy enough to walk on two to three people. And still have plenty of weight to add to it. And what about the ceiling? Now this, we're gonna try to tack this back up for now. We may put sheetrock, I don't know. I may try to go get some more tin or some more panel and put paneling back up in here. But I also took the front right here to the roof. Let me get it close. So uh, we're going to have to reseal the, the outside on the roof itself and then run new insulation in here because it is bowed a little bit where it dropped down where the limb came across the roof and put a hole through the wall there. But, I mean, working, working until it gets extremely hot and have to like stop for a little while because it's just extremely too hot and get overheated. Okay, so how are you going to fix above that door where it's open? We're going to frame it back in. Okay. This will actually be framed back in 
and the top of the, the door frame will actually put back on and then run a piece of tin back across here. And then it'll be uh, probably sheet wrap across here, reattach a camera here, or figure out how to attach a, a camera back here, and a, a light switch so we can actually have a light switch or something. But as far as right now, it's weatherproofed. That's the main key is to get this sealed back in so it doesn't damage any more that we have that we absolutely just. And did we ever up. find a, a window to Not yet. replace this? Not yet. I need to look over there. But this spot right here needs to be fixed in this entryway right here. And then along where the cabinet's going to go needs to be readdressed. We've already started putting cabinets in. So. And this is our pantry that's in the process right now. Steven started this for me. So this will be our food pantry in this corner. And then behind us, we're going to build some cabinets countertop right here. And maybe put some cabinets up here on top since we have plenty of them. And this will be uh, it'll like go, it'll probably go wide enough. We can put our deep freezer, our standing deep freezer, in here, and then the rest of it cabinet. Yeah. And then the refrigerator will go over here. Stove will go there. Sink and cabinets over here. Up to this point right here. So. Well, if we do the cabinet from here to the sink, and then. So I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna try to bring. I'm going to try to center the sink directly over this window. What's that way we have plugs on both sides, cabinet, cabinet, plenty of access for plugging appliances in if we need to. And then change this light out and put a different light in right here. And then, like I said, the stove will go here. This wiring is for a, a bit of hood. I don't know if I'm going to try to hook another one back into it or not. Because I don't even know. Okay, so I'll have to find the vent because goes right through there. Uh, I think that was the vent was laying in there. Yeah. So. But I think Nathan took it out. And all this tile is going to be coming out of here too. Because that's where the refrigerator is going to go. I bet it is. I bet it's laying out there. That's alright. I'll find it. But. Um, progress is being made. This is really soft in this area, and it's to me a soft floor is a dangerous floor because you never know when it's going to give way underneath you. So that is one of the things we're going to get in here this week and fix this, throw this crap out. Because we have how many days, babe, to be in here? Not enough. <laughs> Don't be getting wood in your eyes. And then we have one more spot right here that's got to be addressed. It's against, it's underneath that it's box. Under it's under this, under this table right here. That's nice, underneath this that box. Right there. Yeah, well there's also one underneath, underneath that box. This section will have to. Yeah, address. this whole dining room area will have to be so, assessed. For an old trailer. We're redoing it to kind of make it new. Oh, there comes solar freaking jingles. But, anyhow. And we're still trying to decide on our paint color. I started with paint and Oh, shit. That's the second time today you have set on the keys and set the alarm off. But anyway, thank you for watching Country Cooter Homestead Farming on a Budget. This is as much of a budget as you can get. Things on the cheap or things very on the free side. That's what we're working with. But anyway... Hey. Thank you for joining us. We love you. God hey. loves you. And we'll talk to you guys later. Bye, critters.